This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today I'm extremely excited because I don't collect movie figures like Babers or uh, Rise of the Beast, Bumblebee movie, all that stuff. But I'm a huge Sunstreaker fan and I ordered this guy, uh, Studio Series 111, uh, concept art sunstreaker uh just because it was a sunstreaker and i really didn't expect much uh, you know other than this looks like uh, you know the sunstreaker uh, head sculpt and you know a good movie adaptation and this toy is fantastic it's absolutely fantastic i'm in love with this design look at this alt mode like i hadn't seen any pictures uh, from any of the leaks it's always just and i didn't dig that much because i wanted to have some bit of surprise but this is a really sleek alt mode i love it it looks longer on the box i have to tell you uh um, you know uh, i guess it's the lighting maybe but yeah no i this is my first non-studio series 86 figure and um you know it's just studio series 111 and it's amazing i love it uh, and there's only two shades of yellow instead of three so that's an improvement on our price but no, if you're a Lambros fan, the Suns well, mostly a Sunstreaker because this doesn't really look like a Lamborghini now. But it's fantastic. So I'm going to take a look at that. I'm super excited to show it to you guys. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to keep reminding everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor where I got this. Uh, at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code at DJC Collectibles. It's a fantastic online store and uh, yeah, just have a peek at uh, what they have and uh, put in the code and get 10% at uh, checkout for anything Transformers. So it's worth it. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's uh, take a look at, uh, you know, Sunstreaker. must reach them if we hope to survive first take a look at the box uh, nice you know artwork of Sunstreaker the face sculpt you know he looks a little tough a little menacing I like that um, nice chest piece the window looks really good uh, of course the hands are not gonna be dark that articulated uh, they're not even that color to be honest but you know it's a nice concept art and here they show you, you know, the drawing uh, without paint and everything. So to have that more concept look, um, I don't know if that's standard. You have a, a, a hole for the Transformer logo on the side. Uh, that's cool, I guess. 19 step, um, you know, here's what to do with the backdrop. Sleek out mode, I really dig this. And then you have a nice product shot. And pretty much it. Oh, there you go. Um, you have the double insert. You have this one where, you know, it's full of holes, but you have a untarnished version, uh, which is Cybertron from the Bumblebee movie for that, you know, five, ten minutes at the beginning. Uh, accessory. Uh, I guess that's a new take on the uh, um, air intakes. Uh, you have two guns that you can plug together and... You know, looks good. Um, nice uh, different color. You know, we're used to the silver with Sunstreaker. Uh, this is a uh, uh, colorblind, right? So I'm going to say gunmetal or maybe something green. Yeah, or brown. But uh, this is exactly the type of color I have a problem with. So anyway, and then you have this guy. Okay, so when you look at it, it's like, okay, this is Sunstreaker. You know, you have the, uh, the beautiful, I, I like it, you know, it's more, um, you have the more, uh, I don't, I don't want to say Bavers, because it's it wasn't really Bavers, but you have that kind of aesthetic for the, uh, oh, sorry, I put, put the shoulder too high. Uh, you have the, um, the different face uh, aesthetic, uh, more mechanical, uh, more human, in a sense, for some figure, but this one, 
Um, you know, other than the weird cheek here. Uh, looks good, nice blue eyes. And then you have the traditional ears. Um, beautiful chest piece here with the translucent blue. Um, I hope... I kind of wish Dorhax would do... Sorry, it's shaking. I kind of hope Dorhax is going to do trans... Uh, not translucent. Cell shaded windows for this. That would look good, but uh, I doubt it. You have here the... Uh, Gunmetal on the arm looks really good uh, and then the red you know that traditional red that we've seen since G1 uh, on the figure uh, which were the uh, the stickers well actually you know what just bring him in usually you would have red stickers here but I never like the red so I didn't apply it but you have it pretty much anywhere else um, you have uh, a nice uh, silver here, nice, uh, you know, details on the crotch area, uh, looks really good. Uh, the uh, the red on the hip, uh, you know, nice red and silver at the shin, the top of the feet. The feet kind of look uh, like a bumblebee, you know, that more like sneaker style. Uh, but you have the shape, um, you know, that's more angled, that's for the alt mode. And I have to say the alt mode is pretty genius. Like, I don't say that enough, I think, on figures from Hasbro, which is mainly what I collect, mostly because of scale and price. But this is genius. The way the transformation works, I love it. You have the, uh, you know, the blue here for the alt mode uh, wheels. Uh, look really good. Um, yeah. And, you know, big shoulders. The back cleans up real nice. No, no. There's hollowness here. Uh, inside the uh, the arms but that's pretty much it I mean underneath the feet a little bit but it looks really good I I really like it um, and then for articulation you do have a ball joint at the head so it's gonna rotate 360 and it's gonna well you have transformation so it looks up a little bit or too much and then doesn't look down um, a little bit of attitude uh, you do have your ferris wheel no problem you do have a well because of the big shoulder the arm doesn't go higher if you lift this up you can get a uh, you know better angle but not by much uh, you do have a uh, rotation underneath here but it's kind of hindered because of the kibble on the forearm but you do have a rotation here uh, which, you know, if you move the cable, you can... Actually, no, you can't uh, turn it because this is too big. Huh, that's sad. No rotation at the hand whatsoever. No flexibility. It's just the piece is stuck to the wrist. That's it. Both sides. Um, but I like the panel folding or the alt mode, you know. It covers really nice. We'll show you the transformation. So uh, You have a complete merry-go-round. No problem. Do you have a Van Dam? I mean, when they have big guards like that, usually you don't. Oh, man, I'm, I, he's missing like a, you know, couple. Uh, he's not completely flushed to the ground, but it's pretty close to a, uh, a Johnny Cage. Uh, you do have your knee bend, but because of the wheel and the back, it's, you know, it blocks at, you know, it's not 90. Uh, Oh, you do have a rotation the mushroom peg here will rotate this way and for the feet you do have well a tilt because of transformation but you have a slight rocker yeah this is good i like this um he, he could be a little more articulated but i mean not by much I mean, it's pretty good maybe i'm biased because it's it's a sun streaker it's a movie sun streaker and the guns, you know, you can, there, these are tight, there you go, you, uh, you want to put them uh, like this, because there's a peg here, and you don't want it, to, sorry, there's a peg here, uh, so I don't know if it would work on the other side without, um, you know, causing problems, but there you go, Sunstreaker with two guns, which is a unusual look usually it just has the one gun but man 
He looks good. All right, let's do some comparison. Let's take that out. So here's Sunstreaker uh, from the concept art Bumblebee movie with G1 Sunstreaker. And that's, um, you know, you see that, you know, two shades of yellow, two shades of yellow, but they look good. And they're about the same size, you know, same, uh, same height. Um, so I have to say he's a bit small for a deluxe, but yeah, I mean, it's cool to have these two together. Generation Sunstreaker, because, you know, why not pull out all of my Sunstreakers? He's, he's pretty big, uh, but uh, this one looks better. Masterpiece Sunstreaker with uh, Toy Hacks windows. And overall, I do prefer this one. But again, again, it's the same, you know, two shades of yellow. Painted and plastic, that's different. Why not just paint the whole thing? Anyway. Uh, this is the Earthrise, not the Generation Select 5-pack version with added spoiler. Um, and, you know, three shades of yellow on this guy. Uh, it's pretty, pretty bad. Yes, I do wish I was getting the 5-pack, uh, the but uh, it's just not happening. I much prefer the color on this one overall. I'm just saying. But, I mean, you have the, you know, little bit of red bit of red so no i'm glad to have these uh these two guys uh, side by side all right let's do transformation because i'm uh, sadistic like that so i have to say that this is an actual genius transformation i'm really happy with how they did the whole thing um so you're gonna see here that the feet are gonna lift right and then you want to rotate your hip so that the red part goes near the crotch. And that's gonna put the uh, feet in front, but they don't peg, don't peg them yet, okay? After that, you wanna extend the, uh, the this part and then rotate it downward and kinda like, you have to angle it properly and then you want to clip it over the foot so see here the heel becomes the f the you know bumper the front bumper and it's just so smooth it's fantastic so you do the same thing with the other you turn it around put it down and then push it in to clip it and then you're gonna clip the whole thing and that's giving you a beautiful front end like this is so smooth no problem there i i really like this how they did that um want to take extend this a little bit now you want to i love how they did the chest you want to pull on the chest like this lift him up and then pull the whole thing out okay so now his whole chest is empty so and extend this here and clip it together all right and it extend it goes over this pin here and you bend the figure a little bit until you line up you know these pegs here which are on clear plastic so be careful and then you're gonna shove them like these parts here you're gonna shove them over these pins here like that and it looks good but here you get to see the uh, two shades of yellow plastic painted so that's too bad but it man it just that looks good then you're gonna put the head down and then you're gonna take this piece here lift it up and then pull on it so that you extend the joint to its maximum capacity and come here and Clip it over like that. You hear that little click noise, and that's pretty smooth. Then the arms, I think the arms, yeah, it's big kibble, but look at that. Flip it up, flip it over. So now it, you know, covers the whole thing. Put it like that, and then you want to put this piece underneath that window, and at the same time, put this here 
and it's super smooth. Same thing on the other side. Ah, see that happens sometimes. The window is going to pop back in. So now, just need to pop it back out. Happened to me the first time I transformed it. Transformed it to. Uh, hold on. There you go. But you just have to be careful with that. Put that joint underneath here. Clips with everything. There's a bit of a gap, but pff, I've seen worse from Hasbro. And then you want to take that joint. That's a double joint. So it's going to. Oh, yeah. Hold on to that arm. And you want to push this here over so it closes and it gives you a nice smooth back end and then clip it together like that it's gonna need some tail lights toy hacks you know if you're listening to this they're not um yeah and that's the alt mode and you know what freaking amazing i dig this alt mode so much I mean, sure, it looks shorter than what you've seen on the box, but it's it's Cybertronian and it's Sunstreaker, so that's awesome. And then you want to clip this, and there's two pegs here that are gonna go into holes right here, and these two other peg, the five millimeter ports, you're gonna put them inside uh, the red uh, hole. I mean, the hole in the red line. You, you just line it up perfectly. And here's your air intake. Wow. This is fantastic. I mean, sure, there's little gaps here and there, you know. But that's the Hasbro way. But it cleans up super nice. I mean, you barely see a robot. Okay, legs, but, you know. And you can see the hands. Okay, it doesn't cover from underneath. But on the other side... You don't see nothing. I mean, sure, if you peer inside the window, you can see the legs a little bit. But you put some stickers on that, gone. And then you put some yellow here to match. Ah, God, I like it. The blue rims with the yellow tire. And, and then you have, it rolls. There's, can you see it? Yeah. So that rolls. So does this. And basically, oh man, I, I just... I'm impressed. And it's just the blue that moves, right? The yellow is stationary. So it's those little tires here that move. I I, I adore the transformation. I adore the alt mode. Uh, you know, the red highlight at the back. Uh, like I said, no tail lights. Uh, blue, the gunmetal here. Uh, works with the joint, looks real good. And then you have the uh, red at the bumper with the gunmetal grill and gunmetal on the side with the blue lights. I mean, they went all out on this concept art and it paid off for me anyway. And it rolls, well, this one doesn't seem to be rolling in front, but that could be just because it's not, it's slightly misaligned, but I mean, it looks good. Can't deny that. I'm impressed with this figure a hundred percent. And you even have the little Autobot logo right here. Fantastic. All right, let's do some comparison of alt modes. All right, with, uh, let's uh, put him with uh, Earth Rise Sunstreaker, which is the, the main comparison, right, that you want to do. Uh, Earth mode versus Cybertron in mode. And my, as the, you know, classic uh, clipping issue here of the roof with uh, the rest. But, I mean, I do love this, uh, this figure. Um, but this looks freaking awesome. I mean, it's so good. I'm, I'm uh, like, I hope they do a side swipe, not a repaint, you know, because I don't like side swipe or Sunstreaker being a repaint of the other. But if they do something that slick for side swipe, that'd be interesting. Alternator Sunstreaker, which is way too huge, but that's a very good uh, alt mode. And Crocodile Optimus Prime from Super 7, just for fun. All right, bonus transformation, because maybe I'll do a uh, short about that. So you want to lift this up and Put it down like uh, this. Lift this up and put it down like this. 
Uh, and then, yeah, pull the arms out. Peel this off. There you go. Lift this. Put it on the back. Make sure it clips here. Did I jam it in there? Hold on. It's clipped in there pretty good, but you can use that uh, hole here to push uh, the head there out. That was weird. And then you do this. Fold the windows. Push this in. And those two pins are going to go back into those holes. Like that. Put the head down. And then separate. Pop this. Flip it. Turn it, turn this, put it down, and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Come on, there you go. Turn it, put it down, turn the hip, well, the, yeah, the tie, sorry. And there you go. He's back in robot mode. And this is tight. All right. All right, let's try to pull in a good money shot for this. Hold on. Yeah, this is way too many Lambros, but it's not over. I'm waiting for two legend scales, one from McFan Toys, the other one from Iron Factory. And I'm hoping, I'm getting the MDLX uh, Tree Zero Sideswipe. I'm hoping they do a Sunstreaker. Gotta love some Lambros. So well, that's my current money shot for this shelf, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. If you don't mind, go ahead and share. YouTube's doing a lousy job at recommending my stuff. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.